Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be doing another celebrity inspired look. Today's celebrity is SZA, okay? I know you guys probably saw this look, oh, not this, I tried, on Instagram like a few weeks ago and I'm just not getting around to recreate it. I really was like plotting on this and I really like how it came out. Like I'm proud of myself. I did the whole makeup, hair, little outfit tease for you, like dedication. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this shirt? Like what? Dedication. Okay, period. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoy it and comment below another like celebrity you want me to recreate as far as like hair, makeup, outfit maybe. Um, just let me know. Outfits are not really my thing, but I try to do what I can. But let me know. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today we're going to be working with Sew Wigs Hair. This is a 613 lace front wig. It is 20 inches and 130% density. Normally I work with wigs that are 150, very rare, but 180 to 250% density. So this was very different for me, but it honestly wasn't bad because I said um, earlier that it was, a I mean later on in the video that it was 150% density, but that was my mistake. But anyways, as you can see, now I am bleaching the knots. I know it seems pointless to bleach the knots, but you saw that little, like, um, part that I pointed to. Whenever makeup gets on that or glue, it just turns to a white cast, especially if you're deeper tone. So just go ahead and bleach it. It doesn't have to be precise. It could be messy. The consistency can be watery because it's already blonde hair. So just go ahead and bleach that i use 40 developer and the bw um bleaching powder and i left it on for about 30 minutes and now i'm washing it out i'm sorry that the frame's a little blurred out but i mean you guys get the point right so i picked up the ion shampoo and conditioner i got this from what's her name larissa on youtube i love her so much oh my gosh i hope i'm yes larissa yeah <laughs> but um she suggested this because it doesn't stain the hair with this purple like other purple shampoos do and she's so right and you guys the shampoo smells freaking uh, amazing so i went ahead and washed the hair with it and i also washed like the lace part to kind of tone it down if necessary and i'm so glad that i i bleached the knots because i remember asking on twitter should i bleach blonde knots or should i tint them and everybody said tint them when it was tinted it just looked so unnatural and had this like weird cast so from now on i will definitely be bleaching my knots whether the hair is black brown red blonde bleach your knots all right so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and start our watercolor. This is my first time actually using the Kiss colors, and I feel like they're not as pigmented as the Adore colors because I literally, this is like, I feel like a little bit bigger than the Adore, but I used all of it. I, like I have half of one of those left so I just went ahead and mixed that and as you guys know the less water you add the more like the faster your hair will die so I try to not use as much water and just dip it in so that it could be really saturated but I'm just dipping the hair in and of course <laughs> my hair is out the frame when I do that but just dip it and I feel like no I feel like normally when I water do watercolor on my hair it just catches really quick, especially with the Adore. But this one, I literally, I kid you not, I left it sitting in here for like seven minutes. And I was timing it because I was getting a little nervous. And it still came out that kind of like mm, powder pink. It's like dark, but it's still powder pink because you have to remember when hair is wet, it's darker. So I knew when it dried, it was going to be a different color. So I went ahead and added some of that purple from the last, last, last video I did. <laughs> and I just made it a little bit deeper. I mixed it dipped it and then I had the most perfect pink it was a same exact pink I was going for I was so excited so at this point I'm just going in with that same I think I washed it first yeah I went ahead and washed it I know a lot of people don't wash their hair after dyeing it but I just feel like it's a dye whether it's a rinse or not I'm just gonna wash it make sure there's no pink in my frontal and make sure everything is nice and um you know clean and I'm a little rough, don't mind me. Like I just, it was like three o'clock in the morning when I was doing this 
because I wanted to, you know, get up and just have my hair ready the next day. So I was like, let me just do this. So I was just trying to get it over with, child. But this hair is super duper soft. Like I didn't experience any tangling or anything. Like the hair is so soft, you guys. Like I'm shook. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just going in and, you know, washing it some more, making sure it's good to go. And then after I washed it, I did go ahead and mix um, two conditioners. I used the Ion. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use purple <laughs> conditioner or shampoo after coloring the hair, but that's what I did, and my hair was fine. But um, I went in with the purple conditioner and another conditioner by Ion, and it's like a color protecting conditioner. So, yeah. Off camera, I went ahead and did my ball cap method because we've seen that whatever so now i'm just showing you guys the construction of the wig the lace i'm trying it on now just to see you know where i want to go i did purposely leave the top a little bit on the lighter side because i did notice that her some parts of her hair were a little bit lighter like i was really observing the heck out of this photo video there wasn't much for me to go by but i did what i can so i saw this trick by another youtuber i honestly forgot her name but if you use a tame stick or like a wax stick and just push those hairs hairs back it will kind of um prevent you from cutting your hair when you're cutting your lace and all that so that's what i did i'm cutting my lace today before because um i wanted this to be perfect like i didn't want to like half ass it i wanted to make sure that it was good you know what i'm saying i didn't want it to be clockable i didn't want it to just look good on camera i wanted it to look good so i'm cutting it first and i'm actually gluing my wig down today that's why i have on the um bald cap so right now i'm just cutting it you guys have seen that before and as you can see that lace is very noticeable on my skin tone i'm a brown girl so it's time for us to tint that all i did was add some foundation and i sprayed it with the got to be just to kind of lock that that um foundation in. and as you can see it melted and went away so just do it to your skin tone you know like if you're lighter skin, it's gonna work, but if you're a little deeper, you're gonna have to tint it. So now I'm using the glue. I do have a video on my channel that's more in depth on how I do the glue installs. So I will leave that below, or you can scroll through my channel and take a look, but I'm just doing the little, you know, glue install. And you guys, I was literally grabbing any tool that was in front of me, because as you can see, I'm in my room. I'm not in my bathroom, so I was just like, whatever. Anything that's in front of me is gonna you know blend this glue out and keep this frontal down okay once you do that and you let it dry until it's clear you're just gonna gently place the frontal on top and like I said before I was just grabbing anything that was in front of me and you're just pressing that into the skin very gently and you want to try your hardest not to touch the glue you guys if you touch the glue it's gonna turn white and it's not gonna give you that melted look so just try to be really gentle take your time be patient that's exactly what I was doing so um, do that and then go ahead and blow dry that just to ensure that it is nice and light. So once you've laid your wig down, you're going to want to tie your, your edges down with a silk scarf for about 10 to 15 minutes. And voila, hair is melted, honey. Do you see that? So because I know I want to do a side part and some curls, I had to do some slight layers. I cannot cut. I cannot do anything. But I just used this little razor comb and just kind of dragged it down. And honestly, it was really easy. So um, you can do more in-depth layers. I... Um, I just did the front of my hair just to kind of frame my face and so that when I curled, the curls kind of sat on each other. They weren't like just like straight curls. They kind of just sat on each other and gave me a little bit more volume, especially with the density of this wig. You want it to look a little bit fuller than it is. So just, you know, kind of chop, 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 chop. And I just got that from the beauty supply store. You can get that anywhere. Um, Sally's, regular beauty supply store, probably Walmart. I don't know. So now I'm going in 
and curling my hair. I start off by spraying my hair with some hairspray. This hairspray is by Chi and it's like the volume something. It smells so good and it works amazing. So I spray my hair and then I um, comb through it and now I'm using my Foxy Bay um, curling iron. I actually got this from TJ Maxx for like $20 and um, I am shook. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep using that so anyways once I curl my hair I hold the curl in my hair until it kind of cools down and then I let it go and voila you got a curl all right sis super easy so I'm gonna do that throughout the hair and on each side I probably did about five to six curls and called it a day because I knew I was gonna comb them out anyways with a big curl with a with a big curl with a big comb so yeah just keep curling curling and make sure you guys are curling away from your face and make sure if you're using a wand that the hair is laying flat on the curling um wand or if you're using a curling iron which i don't know how to use make sure that it is also curling away from your face so that's one side and now i'm gonna put on my scarf and my bonnet and get to work I know it's really lazy of me, but I prefer to just like put my curls in a bonnet to preserve them while I do my makeup instead of pin curling them because it's literally the same freaking thing. <laughs> but um, I mean, I don't have the best curls, but you know. But anyways, as you guys saw, I was already priming my face. I used my same two primers and I'm going in with two foundations today because you know, Sis's skin is like... Um, like she never looks beat but her skin is freaking flawless so I use my Fenty and I mix a little bit of hourglass because you know sis love her some Fenty you know they tried her at Sephora but sis loves her some Fenty so we use a few little Fenty products today but um yeah I'm just trying to make sure that I'm full coverage but I'm not caked you know it's hard for me <laughs> but I feel like the hourglass the finish of the hourglass tones it down a little bit so it looked a lot more skin like and I just want to cover up all my blemishes and make sure everything was just seamless. So now I'm going in with my Tarte Concealer because it is full coverage and that one's kind of close to my skin tone. So it's just going to, mm, I don't know, I can't explain it. But anyways, you guys know I use two concealers all the time. So here we are. <laughs> I've never seen SZA with like a matte face really so I went in with my Juvia Place concealers I mixed two shades only because when I went to go get it at I mean not Sephora at Ulta the one shade which is like J12 was sold out so I had to mix 11 and 13 to get my correct or my desired shade and it's a very creamy concealer so I thought it would work good for this personally so far I'm not the biggest fan of it um, I thought it was going to be more full coverage. It's just medium. But it's not bad at all, though. Um, and it did crease. I don't know if it was the powder that I used. I don't know if I just applied too much, which I probably did because, again, it is very creamy. But I will try it again. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, it's not a really it's not really a long wearing concealer because by the end of the day, my face was super oily and I really used all the same products except the concealer and my face was like felt like it was about to melt off so uh, we're gonna try it again you know I might try it with the um, foundation but th th it's not about that anyways back to our face so I went in with my Fenty bronzers and I just really bronzed the face up I've never seen scissor like chiseled or anything so I know my face is a little rounder but I just want to stick to the theme it won't kill me and I'm gonna do a little snippet of my brow today. Oh my gosh, look at all that powder on my hand. I'm using the Makeup Revolution brow pencil. Again, everything will be listed below, guys. I promise this time. I know I say, I say this every time, but it will be. Um, and I'm just filling in my brows. This is literally all I do to my brows. And I'm gonna carve out the bottom. And boom, I just did a simple. I'm literally just filling in my brow. I'm not even trying to like draw a shape, do anything extra. I'm just boom 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 and then carving out the bottom all right do what works for you everybody's brows are different everybody has their own preference just do what works for you okay So 
So this eye look really had no direction. I was really trying to figure out what was on her eyes in this specific look, but I just couldn't get the gist of it. So I just kind of just, just do stuff out there. I'm just using the um, Jackie Ina Anastasia palette and I'm just applying some browns in the crease. I did a little bit of shimmer and then I added like this um, elf iridescent kind of liquid liner just to make it look like something. Cause like SZA's makeup is like, effortless she's just a beautiful person so like <laughs> doesn't matter what she's what she does it's gonna look freaking good she has that kind of face and I did a really like kind of curved liner because SZA has like kind of you know that like slanted eye look so when she does her liner she just looks really like she looks like a feline she just looks kind of like exotic you know in the eye area so I just did my wing a little bit different and I'm doing a wispy lash these are by amber franks i will leave that listed below as well um i did a wispy lash because i've just never really seen her with like any kind of like crazy lash so i was just like girl keep it simple and i'm highlighting my nose with a check the description box <laughs> and i'm going in with this like pinky highlighter because i just was like huh, why not your hair's fire pink not fire pink i not i'm not gonna say what i really want to say but my hair is pink Okay, <laughs> and um, I just want to go with the theme. So now I'm just lining my lips. I'm using my tiny, 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 tiny um, lip pencil by NYX. I'm going in with my B Beauty, my B Taylor. What is wrong with me? B Taylor Beauty Gloss. Like I said before, this is my favorite gloss right now. And then over that, just for a more shiny effect. And I know this is probably literally what she had on her lips. But this is um, Fenty Gloss, the original one. And I'm just spraying my face to break everything down. And voila, we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah. Alright guys, and that completes today's video. It was SZA inspired. I freaking loved that look, so I just thought I would do a little something. Um, I got this shirt made in LA. Um, my best friend shipped it to me. So that's it, and I just have on a scoop bag, scoop bag. I just have on some biker shorts, you know, the whole little vibe. You guys know I suck at showing you guys outfits. <laughs> This is what we're working with and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.